Hey what is up guys, how's it going? This is Kiko. So today we are going to be looking at more Pokemon as real life animals part 8. Now Joshua Dunlop, he's a concept artist and he's been releasing these pictures one after the other. There's a lot of pictures to look through so I'm going to try and give my opinion on them really quick just to so we could get through them really fast, you know what I'm saying? So the first set of pictures we're going to be looking at is of the evolutions. And the first evolution is of Jotian. So here Jotian, he looks slick, he looks fast, he looks like he's on a mission man. And you know you have the electricity coming out of his fur, you know like Jotian should have electricity overall awesome if his face looked more like a fox instead of a dog it would have been more awesome but i mean overall great job and then after Jolteon, we got flareon and flareon is chilling in the snowman and flareon doesn't really look as good as Jolteon because it kind of looks like um kind of like a statue and you know i really like the setting of the snow i feel like for flareon it would have been better if he was like out in the field because he's a fire type but overall picture is good just could have made it look a little less statue like and more realistic but i mean there it is and then after Flareon we got Vaporeon and this picture 10 out of 10 man um, Vaporeon looks like a fish that just jumped out of the lake the setting is perfect the skin is perfect I mean you got the scales you know no complaints here this is a perfect representation of a Vaporeon so two thumbs up now following the set of the evolutions Next, we're going to look at the Team Rocket Pokemon. And the first Pokemon is of Ekans. So you know Ekans, you know, you got to keep it simple. He's a snake Pokemon, but he's purple. He has some yellow spotting on the top of his head. And he has the little rattle on the back. So this picture, also like Vaporeon, perfect representation of Ekans. No complaints here. Awesome pick. Thumbs up. And now next up, we got a picture of Coffee. Now Coffee, I didn't really expect to see him like this. But you know, he looks like kind of dangerous, like something you want to stay away from. You know, he have the gas coming out of him. He looks kind of creepy, but I like the vibe I'm getting off of it. So I definitely give this one the seal of approval, but you know, let me know what you guys think. What are your thoughts? And then the third Team Rocket member, you know who it is, Meow. So Meow, again, like the previous two Team Rocket Pokemon, overall, the picture is awesome, man. Now Meow has a really big head, a really big round head. So right here, the head is kind of small, but I think it suits it perfectly. Like if the head was too big, it would look unrealistic. So right here, Meow looks awesome. And him standing on his two legs, even more perfect, because that's how Meow is seen in the anime. So definitely Definitely kudos for that picture. Now after the Team Rocket Pokemon, now we're gonna look at some bird Pokemon. And the first bird Pokemon we're gonna see is the one you encounter in Route 1 of Kanto, and that's Pidgey. Now this picture of Pidgey, kind of like the Flareon, kind of looks like a statue, like a really high quality statue. I think it's like the bird that's throwing me off. I mean, I like it overall, I just think, um, you know, could have been worked on a little bit more. Just work on the fur, and it would have been awesome. And now after Pidgey, we're gonna look at Pidgey's enemy, and that's Spearow. So Spearow, the fur looks more realistic, more realistic than Pidgey. But I think the fur around his neck could have been more like going outwards. Because if you see like the anime version of Spearow, he has like a ring of fur around his neck. And right here, he doesn't have it. So I mean, that's my only complaint about this picture. And you know, let me know what your guys' thoughts are. You know, drop a comment. All right, now the next bird Pokemon we're going to be looking at is of Doduo. So this picture of Doduo, man, I think personally out of this set of pictures, Doduo is going to be my favorite one. Because the Doduo was a real life Pokemon. This is exactly how I would imagine it. And I just like the field in the background and him running towards the camera. Man, just overall, everything about this picture, I like it. So definitely 10 out of 10, seal of approval. All right, so now following the bird Pokemon, now we're gonna be looking at the generation one fossil Pokemon. And the first fossil Pokemon we're gonna be looking at is of Kabuto. So here you have a couple of Kabuto chilling like on a rock, like they just came out of the water. And now like the shell, I really like how it looks. It looks kind of like a rock that you might step on accidentally. And just Overall, the design here, man, it's really creative. Like the things under Kabuto's stomach, like glowing. You have the eyes popping out on the top. Amazing artwork here, you know? And now after Kabuto, we got the other fossil Pokemon, Ammonite. Now we got Ammonite here just chilling underwater, you know, looking pretty much like a fish. And then Dunlop also released a picture of Ammonite like outside of the water. And here's that picture. Personally, I prefer the picture of Ammonite underwater because the one of him out of water kind of looks like the shell kind of looks soft. And I think the shell should have looked more like hard like a rock but overall good picture and then next up after the fossil pokemon is a picture of weeping bell now weeping bell is a good follow-up picture to his previous picture of bell sprout they just look like leaves chilling in the forest and something that you would expect to be hanging in a tree it does look like something that you will see in its natural environment so weeping bell awesome pick definitely give it the seal of approval so let's go on to the final picture of today and the final picture is of ponytail so ponytail like i can 
Mexicans, man, it's better to keep it simple and straight to the point. Ponytail is a horse that's pretty much on fire. So here's a ponytail running through the field. It looks like he's on fire. And man, I got no complaints here, man. This is definitely two thumbs up, seal of approval, 10 out of 10. What else do you want? A++. You know, it looks like a ponytail. And I'm really curious to see how Rapid Dash is going to look like because this picture also looks like a Rapid Dash. I'm looking forward to the Rapid Dash picture. Done luck. You know, get on it. Do work. And yeah, so those are all the pictures. I mean, that's a lot of pictures. All of it is fantastic artwork. And if you guys want to see more pictures like this, you know, follow Joshua Dunlop on his Instagram. Support him on Patreon. And if you want to see the process of how these pictures are made and how difficult the process is, subscribe to Joshua Dunlop on YouTube. I'll leave a link to all his information in the description. So, you know, check it out, man. But yeah, thanks for watching. I really enjoyed seeing these pictures and I hope you guys enjoyed them too. You know, let me know what you guys think. You know, drop a comment. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one, right? Peace out.